Hi, and welcome to the letter Z, as in zigzagging, as in Missoni. Established in 1953, Missoni became synonymous of uh, kaleidoscopic, experimental, so-called put-together luxury knitwear. Ottavio Missoni, nicknamed Ty, was originally from Dubrovnik, Croatia, and became a young international athlete. He even competed in 1948 Summer Olympics in London. Rosita Yelmini, whose family owned a fabric business, was studying in London at that time and happened to be at the Wembley Stadium during the Olympic finals. She and Ty eventually met in Piccadilly Circus under the era statue and soon fell in love. In 1953, they got married in Gola Secca, Rosita's birthplace, and established Magnificio Jolly, a knitwear workshop in Gallarate, 25 miles north of Milan. Combining Rosita's love of fashion and heritage from her family business, and Thais's skill in producing knitting sports tracksuits, along with the passion for experimenting with new techniques, the Missoni quickly became a powerful duo. In 1958, the first Missoni stripe dresses, part of the Milano Sympathy collection, were displayed in the windows of La Rinascente department store in Milan. In the early 1960s, the Italian-French couturier Pierre Cardin asked Ty and Rosita to work on a knitwear collection under his name. Instead, they chose to work with the visionary Emmanuel Kahn. The clothes were co-labeled, and this collaboration led to the first Missoni fashion shows. They soon caught the attention of the press, in particular of the great Anna Piaggi, who at that time was the fashion editor of Ariana and soon became a friend, a mentor, and the author of a plethora of smart and witty press releases. And it was indeed Piaggi who invented the expression identinate. Missoni's early shows, real happenings rather than mere fashion representation, were staged in an orthodox location and always in Milan. And remember that back in those days, Florence and Rome were the Italian fashion epicenters. The first défilé took place in 1966 at Teatro Girolamo, a lovely performance space built in 1868 as a miniature version of the nearby La Scala Theatre, and mostly known for puppet and cabaret shows. The second show, in 1967, was staged at the Piscina Solari, a public swimming pool which, for the occasion, was filled with inflatable furniture by Emmanuel's husband, Nguyen Man Khan, a Vietnamese designer. Also in 1967, they made their debut at Palazzo Pitti in Florence. Two years later, they inaugurated their factory at Sumirago, 20 miles north of Milan. In 1968, Diana Vreeland, the unforgettable and powerful editor of American Vogue, met the Missonis and labeled their freestyle, quote, the put together and the quote look. Vreeland also helped the Missonis in getting into the most famous department stores in the 70s in the United States. And right in 1970s, Bloomingdale's in New York opened an in-store Missoni boutique. Geniuses of color combinations and mix and matching patterns, the Missoni look represented something totally new and revolutionary in the fashion system. They launched a different way to dress, and they succeeded. In 1973, the first of a long list of major recognition arrived, and we are talking about the Neiman Marcus Award, a sort of Academy Award of Fashion. A year after, Ty and Rosita left Florence's catwalks for Milan's, 
and Women's Wear Daily immediately stated, quote, Missoni is the reason to come to Milan, but Rosita and Thai are no longer just Italian fashion. They are world leaders, end of quote. The Missoni's inspirations pay homage to radical art of the 20th century, spanning from Giacomo Balla to Sonia Delaunay, from Kandinsky to art, and again, to optical art, African dresses, and even the Murine, the colored glass from Venice, which Rosita loves collecting. The avant-garde experimental techniques in which the Missonis always excel produce amazing patterns, like the stripe, the flame, the zigzag, the patchwork, and many more, using yarns such as silk, cotton, wool, rayon, mohair, and lurex. The same vibrant patterns inform the Missoni's Casa collection, which Rosita passionately started in 2000. Her philosophy is, quote, the home is alive, it's constantly evolving and never finished, end of quote. In 1978, at Rotunda della Bisana in Milan, the Missonis toasted to their 25th anniversary with a spectacular retrospective. The exhibition was such a huge success that it even traveled to New York, and it opened in October of the same year at the Whitney Museum of Art, and it was the first tribute this institution gave to a fashion brand. Quote, we have always tried to innovate the concept of knitwear, but we have always remained artisans, end of quote, stated Rosita. Visionary in their soul, they collaborated with the most disruptive artists, such as the illustrator Antonio Lopez, who drew their ad campaigns in the 80s. An artist himself, time show his paintings and patchworks in various international exhibitions. He and Rosita also designed costumes for operas and ballets, like the ones for the 1983 production of Lucia di Lammermoor at La Scala in Milan, and David Parsons' choreography, Step Into My Dream, which opened in 1994 at the Joyce Theater in New York. Also in 94, the Missonis received the PT Imagine Award in Florence, and in conjunction, the exhibition Missonology display more than 100 outfits from their archive. Tai and Rosita passed the baton to their children in the late 90s. And here, picture from the left, we have Vittorio, the company CEO, tragically disappeared in a plane crash in 2013, Angela, the women's collection designer, and Luca, responsible for the men's collection and the artistic director of Missoni's archive. In October 97, Angela made her debut as the women's creative director. Under her tenure, the brand kept growing, enriched with colorful patterns and creative bohemian vibes. The year 2008 sees the birth of Fondazione Ottavio and Rosita Missoni with the aim of preserving the incredible and experimental artistic heritage of the brand through various cultural initiatives. In 2011, Thais's autobiography Una vita sul filo di lana, A Life on a Woolen Thread, was published by Rizzoli. Two years later, after having toasted to the brand's 60th anniversary, Tai passed away. During his life, along with Rosita, he received a gazillion of international awards and won among the many an honorary degree from London Centre St. Martins. He was also nominated one of the best dressed men in the world. In 2015, Missoni Art Color celebrated the work of Tai and Rosita in Gallarate, the town where they first set up their knitwear business back in 1953. A year later, the show eventually traveled to the Fashion and Textile Museum in London. In 2018, Missoni sold a minority stake to a private equity firm. In 2021, after 24 years as creative director, 
Angela Missoni became president of the company. In March 2022, Filippo Gracioli, formerly at Burberry and Givenchy, was appointed new creative director of the brand. His first Women's Spring 2023 collection was a cleaner, lighter, more graphic version of the Missoni's leitmotifs, colors, and pattern, and showed a more sexy and body-conscious approach. Thanks for listening. And keep in mind what the legendary costume designer Hidith has said. Fashion is a language. Some know it, some learn it, like an instinct. Goodbye!